An object of mass 5 kg is thrown vertically upwards from the ground. The air resistance produces a constant retarding force of 10 Newton throughout the motion. The, the ratio of time of ascent to the time of descent will be equal to. If we were to visualize the question here, I mean visualize the given data here, this is what's been represented. An object is object of mass 5 is thrown from vertically upwards from the ground. So say this is the ground. This is the ground. It is thrown from A. It reaches, it reaches B. Okay. And this is what I've been represented here from A to B. From A to B, ascent. Okay. And then, and then during descent, we have the motion from B to A. So this is here represented as descent B to A. So from A to B, there is some initial velocity and the final velocity we know as the object reaches its stop, it is going to be equal to zero, right? For the descent, the initial velocity will be the final velocity of ascent. I repeat, for the descent, initial velocity of descent will be the final velocity of ascent. Final velocity of ascent is zero and therefore descent would be, the initial velocity of descent would be zero. It will keep on increasing. Why? because acceleration to gravity will have an accelerating effect here and therefore it will increase and reach with the velocity v and hit back the ground again. As it is moving upward, g will have a negative effect, it will have a decelerating effect and as it is moving downward, the object will, the g will be having a positive effect here. Okay, so I hope this much is clear. Now let us see what these, these two diagrams represent. See, this represents the two different accelerations acting on the body. We have two different accelerations. One is due to acceleration due to gravity, which is ag. Other is acceleration, which is produced by the air resistance. Okay. Now, how do we how do we visualize this? How do we visualize it even better? So if, if we are to use the concept of loss of um, free body diagram here, if I take an object, if, assume this to be the object here. I think, I think it's better that um, we take these cases individually and things will become more clear to you. So as, as of now, as of now just, just try to understand this. During the ascent, the acceleration due to ascent will be equal to minus ag minus ar, which is equal to minus of ag plus ar what is ar acceleration due to the resistive force or maybe we could write okay, air resistance right yeah so okay okay ar actually due to resistance and during the descent during the descent it would be acceleration due to gravity plus acceleration to gravity minus acceleration due to resistance okay so that's going to be the a difference here in terms of acceleration. How did we come to it? We'll take both these cases individually. We'll use free body diagram to understand what are the various forces acting and then we'll come to a conclusion. So now let us first draw the free body diagram of this of this block during the motion from A from A to B. Okay. So during that motion this object is moving upwards, which means the net direction of motion is actually acting upwards, right? Okay. Now, what are the other forces acting on it? We've been given that there are two forces. One is the air resistance, which means the force of air resistance is acting on it along with the weight of the body, right? So there are only two forces being acting on this and the net direction of velocity is acting upwards. Now, how do we approach this uh, how the equation? We say that sigma Fy is equal to m into Ay. Now, what is sigma Fy? Sum of the forces acting in the y direction. How many forces are there? There are two forces, W and Fr. How do we take the sign convention? See, we always assume all the forces in the direction of motion to be as positive. Since the object is moving upwards, the direction of positive, sorry, direction towards upwards is positive. 
and therefore all other forces acting downwards would be taken as negative so sigma fr would be minus w sorry sigma fy would be minus w minus fr is equal to m into ay now what is fr fr is force acting on the body due to the air resistance that will be equal to mass into acceleration acting on the body due to air resistance right in which case i can write this as minus w minus fr is equal to m into ay what is weight weight is minus mg so this becomes minus mg minus mr is equal to m ay if i cancel out m from all terms what i get is minus g minus ar is equal to ay during ay during ascent right ay during ascent so i hope this much is clear now fr is equal to m into ar okay St straightforward equation what is fr fr is given to us as 10 newton what is the weight of the mass mass is given to us as mass is given to us as 5 kilogram into ar therefore what is ar ar is 10 by 5 which is 2 meter per second square in which case in which case what is acceleration in the y direction during the ascent acceleration y direction during the ascent is equal to minus g which is minus minus 10 minus ar which is 2 12 therefore what we have is minus 12 is equal to a y during ascent okay we'll repeat the same calculations for the descent and then things will become crystal clear to you wondering why have, why do I have this equation st is equal to u2 here we will come back to we'll come to that but not now not now now let us see for the motion along let us see for the motion along for the motion along ba which is in simple terms the descent of the body so this is b this is a and now we have the object coming in the opposite direction right for here let us try to draw the free body diagram so this is the object the weight is 5 kilogram what are the various forces acting on it yes we know definitely weight is going to pull this downwards right and we have the resistance see so here things become a bit conceptual to understand air resistance will oppose the motion right air resistance will oppose the motion which means direction of air resistance will be opposite to the direction of motion okay direction of air resistance will be opposite to the direction of motion what is the direction of motion it is b a in which case what will be the direction of air resistance it will be a to b which means air resistance would be acting like this so what is this this represents the force of air resistance okay right now applying Newton's law of motion we can say that sigma fy is equal to m into ay what is sigma fy the direction of motion the net direction of motion is towards downwards therefore all those forces acting downwards would be taken as positive and all those are acting upwards would be taken as negative which means w will be positive here and fr would be negative here so if we write this equation we can say that we can say that w minus fr is equal to m into ay what is w it is mg what is fr it is m into ar which is equal to m into m into a y and therefore if i cancel out m from all the terms what we get is g minus a r is equal to a y what's the value of g the value of g is 10 what's the value of a r we derive it to be 2 and therefore a y which a y a y during the a y during the descent is equal to 10 minus 2 which is 8 10 minus 2 is equal to 8 meter per second square so a y during descent is 8 meter per second square okay so i hope this much is clear now if this if this idea is clear we'll move on to the next part of the solution 
wherein things may become a bit more easy to understand okay so let, let, let us not skip the steps let us try to understand the question the steps in detail one more time okay see now for this motion when we have e for, for the motion along a to b right for the motion along a to b now we don't need this we don't need this diagram i can write first equation of motion as v is equal to right v is equal to u plus at can i right v is equal to u plus at or or do we want it to write it okay let's let, let us let us keep this equation as well let us keep this equation we don't need we don't need this equation v is equal to u plus at now what is v v is zero from here which means we have zero is equal to u plus u plus at what is a acceleration during ascent what is t time of ascent so therefore u actually becomes minus acceleration of ascent time of ascent u is equal to minus what is acceleration of ascent we have derived it here as minus 12 so this becomes minus of minus 12 into time of ascent therefore u is actually 12 times time of ascent okay now what is v square minus u square is equal to it is equal to 2 into a into s for the ascent this is 2 a a into s a what is v the value of v is the value of v is 0 here so this becomes 0 minus 12 time of ascent square is equal to 2 into what is the value of a a uh, a is minus minus 12 times s a right so now minus 12 over 12 is 1 so what we get is t a square by 2 or, or we can say t a square is equal to 2 times s a okay now those people who are watching it offline i would suggest that you pause your video here and you do the rest portion the, the, the second of the question on your own things will become really clear to you now for the motion along b a we have the equation v is equal to u plus a t this time i'm going to make it uh, write it a bit more clear so v is actually velocity at a u is actually velocity at b plus a is acceleration during descent time is time during descent right now here u is equal to zero right u is equal to zero which means u b here is actually equal to zero and therefore what do we get v a is equal to we get v a is equal to acceleration of descent into time of descent right now what is the value then therefore we can say that therefore we can say that what is va uh, va would therefore be equal to what is ad ad we derived by h h into td now see what is the next equation of motion we're going to use here v square we can use v square minus u square is equal to 2 as acceleration of descent into displacement during descent right and what is 0 u is 0 what is va it is 8 times td so we have 8 times td the whole square is equal to did i miss the square portion the last step uh did i yes i did it's u is 12 ta which means this should be 12 square ta square right so 12 square ta square is equal to 12 into ta so this is by 12 my bad my bad okay now over here we have 8 into td the whole square is equal to 2 into what is ad acceleration during descent is 8 into into sd so we can write here that 64 64 time descent square is equal to 2 into 8 into sd so 64 by 8 is 8 so 8 td square is equal to 2 into sd so we have 4 td square is equal to 8 by 2 is 4 is equal to sd that's one equation and the second equation here this becomes uh, 
12 t a square is equal to 2 s a right 2 is 12 square by 12 is 12 so this becomes 6 t a square is equal to s a now the direction of motion sorry the, the displacement to the motion from a to b is actually b to a in the reverse direction to be more precise s a is actually a b and what is s b s b is um sorry not, not s b what is s d displacement as descent it is b a what is b a otherwise b a is equal to a b which is otherwise equal to s a so s d is equal to s a which means we can equate these two equations and therefore what we get is 6 t a square is equal to 4 t d square or t a square upon t d square is equal to 4 by 6 and therefore t a by t d is equal to 2 by root 3 which gives us the correct option as okay i don't have the options here so the correct option would be 2 is to root 3